So now we're going to start making our hexagon. Now I'm going to go to the pen tool and I see here I'm, I'm going to take off my fill and bring my stroke forward and just choose a stroke color at random. Now I'm going to click, do you see here where the um, guide intersects the circle here? Well right at the top I'm going to click and put down an anchor point. I'm going to zoom in on that. And an anchor point is an object. There we go, right there at the intersection. Now, I know there's easier ways to make a hexagon, but I'm doing this to show you how lines work also when you're joining lines. So I want to make six of these anchor points. And I'm going to do that by going to my rotation tool and alt clicking on the center of the circle. And I'm going to rotate this 60 degrees. Now, how did I come up with 60 degrees? Well, there's 360 degrees in a circle, and I want six points. So I divide 6 into 360 to get 60 degrees. And I'm going to make a copy. OK, so now you can't really see that, but I'm going to change to the outline view. So you see I have an anchor point here and an anchor point here that is selected. If I do a Control D, that will repeat the last move that I made. So I did that once, twice, three, and four times. And now I've got six anchor points. Be very careful so you don't go any more than six anchor points because you'll have trouble doing this particular project. Okay, so now I'm going to go with the Direct Selection tool and I'm going to marquee over these two anchor points. And I know that they're selected because they're both blue. And I'm going to do a Control J. And you see it puts a line or a stroke between the two anchor points. This is what happens when anchor points are not on top of each other. A stroke goes between them when you join them. So I'll do a Control J again. And I'm just going to go around the circle and Control J. Now, if you don't like to use the um, keys to do this, you can go to Object, Path, and Join. Okay? So either way will work for you. I like the uh, shortcut keys. So I'm just going to do Control J all around here. So now I have my hexagon. And I'm going to change view. And you can see it's got a color. And I'm going to come here to the swatches, and I'm going to choose a swatch. There we go. Oops, I meant uh, I'm going to do Control Z on that because actually it's the fill that I wanted to put there. So I'll go to my swatches here and click here, and there is my hexagon. Okay, so going to do a control minus and if you're using a Mac it's a command minus and just move this off. In Illustrator you have to have a lot of room on the side of your document to move an object off. Okay I'm gonna say goodbye now and we'll be doing the next
piece which is the starburst.